Hey guys, welcome everybody. Um, I wanted to do a really quick video on shaders in Sky Factory 4. Uh, one of the guys that viewed my uh, my videos, his, uh, his name is CLYT. M. He asked about it. How did I manage to get the shaders working in Sky Factory 4? Um, I'm the only one that did it. Um, I did tell him how to do it, and he did tell me, like, you know, I should do a video. So because of him asking and suggesting it, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a video and show everybody how to do these shaders. And also his community dropped in, and uh, they also said thank you, too. So that's pretty awesome of them. Thank you for them for that. And also thank him for giving me the idea to do this video. So first off... Um, I'm, I'm going to go over Sky Factory 4 first, and then I'll go over other mod packs that you can make these things work. First thing you want to do is download Optifine, and you could just Google that, download Optifine. Make sure you pop that into your Minecraft instances, whatever pack you're using, and mods folder, and just pop in Optifine in there. As you can see, um, I can't. It's Optifine. I have Optifine in mine. Um, and then what you want to do with Sky Factory 4 is Astral Sorcery is already fixed, so you don't have to touch that. But if you go into the config file for Sky Factory 4 and you go down to Topography, Topography, um, and you click the SF4 folder. Let's open that guy up. And these, this is going to be all your different world types right here. All these guys right here are your world types. So you find the world type you have. The default is going to be Dirt Tree. Um, that covers a lot of them, so uh, you can change that one if you're using a dirt tree or any of the other like defaults. But uh, Chunk is the one I'm using, Chunk Norris. So I just double. I'm not going to double click that because I've already changed it. Let's do the cobblestone one. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to change it really quick. So what you want to look for is anything that renders the sky or sky box. If you look right here, sky equals set sky renderer. You want to click in front of it and add those two forward slashes and what that'll do is that I'll tell the program not to read that line so it's not going to set that we have night equals set I had skyblox we do the same to that one and the same to day and that's pretty much all we have to do here um, if you have any other problems with, with stuff like that you might want to try that one but I haven't had problems with that one so you shouldn't really have to change that at all so that's all you have to change to get that working for the shaders and it's, it's really that easy. I'll add it in the comments and everything. But it's literally that easy. You just find what world type you have. So find a text file for it. You add these two little comment lines to the sky, the night, and the day. And that's it. Easy peasy. Um, also, download off the find. Um, also, download the shaders you want. You can easily just do a Google search for shaders. Um, I, t I typed in Minecraft. 1.12.2 shaders, um, popular shaders. I mean, this will probably get you the links to them. I'm pretty sure they all work just fine. Uh, you might have to deal with the AdFly as the pain in the butt, but always make sure you click the top right button to download stuff when it's ready and finish this counting down. Okay, so let's say you're not doing Sky Factory 4. Let's say you're doing like all the mods, right? So if we go to instances and we go to all the mods, um, Go to config file. Uh, there's a couple of different things. You have to change the advanced rocket, rocketry setting and also an astral sorcery. Sorcery. I can't talk today. One of these settings here. So let's go ahead and do uh, AS. Let's open this guy up. And what we're going to do is we're going to find something that's called weak sky renderer. So I'm going to find it and just type in weak in there and hit enter and it'll pop it up. See, so here it is right here. Um, sky's supported dimension blah 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 and you, as you can see here it's, it has that keyword render sky render and this is the main thing that messes up the shaders so all you have to do is hit enter right here after this open bracket hit tab one time zero and save it file save you're done with astral sorcery so once that's done you want to go up to advanced rocketry click this guy click the config file for it and this one's a little bit easier. Um, if we go to the top here, you'll see it has some stuff about asteroid IDs, some biomes, and then it has client stuff. Your shaders are all done by your client, so it's going to be in here, right? All right, so right here you can see is the first two things right here, custom skybox. That's always the keywords, skybox, uh, any kind of renders or anything like that. Um, this normally is going to be true when you open this up. So you want to change it from true to false because you do not want this to use a custom skybox because when it does that's when it messes up the shaders 
So you make sure these two are false and your shaders are good to go. Just make sure if you're using like shaders and a resource pack like I am, make sure you update that, that uh, the RAM usage. I um, I use, it's up right now. Let's look at my task manager real quick and I'll let you see where it is. My Minecraft with uh, Sky Factory 4 is at 6 gigs. So I have mine set on probably 10 maybe. I'm actually not really sure. We can really check it really quick. Um, allocated uh, 8, memory is, I've got 8 gigs. 8192 so I've got two gigs over what I need so that's fine but that's uh that's the video on how to get your shaders working if you have any other questions um, or maybe about any other mod packs uh, shoot me a uh, comment and I'll be glad to help anybody that has any issues with the shaders so uh, just uh, let me know if I helped you out or anything like that just go ahead and shoot me a, a like um, check out some of the videos you like it give me a subscribe and everything but uh, that's all I have for you today it's so a call frame signing out.